tell me a little bit about this new adventure that your character is going on. You know, this one we had to take it up, uh, up a few notches, a bunch of notches, because we wanted to make it a bigger platform. If we were doing the second movie with Paul Blart, we, we had to make it massive. And we took him out of a mall and we brought him to one of the biggest platforms in the world, Las Vegas. But we wanted to show it in a different way, Las Vegas. A lot of ways, you know, the typical ways where you can't show. This one is for families. It's for everybody. So you can feel comfortable bringing your kids and have a great time. And we had to make the comedy, the physical comedy bigger, the emotion bigger, the stakes were bigger. So that, that's what we wanted to do. Make it really big. The segue's bigger. Yes, it yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> have your kids seen the movie? My kids are in the movie. I, I put that, I gave them a little quick spot in there. They were fun and, 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 and fun to deal with, so it was, it was enjoyable. Were they scared watching you uh, perform your stunts? They always, they always, they love it. They laugh at Daddy falling down for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. They enjoy when I go down, and I think they know, they think I don't get hurt, but I do get hurt. That's the problem. Was there a stunt that you wrote, and then once you were doing it, you thought, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have run, uh, written this? Yeah, every day. Every day I thought, man, what was I thinking when I wrote this? Because... I, I typically, you know, after, after I did the first one or after I do any movie where there's a lot of physical comedy, I say next time I do a physical movie, I'm going to get in shape. And that day never arrives. So I'm always there and I'm really not prepared, which kind of makes it funnier, I think, in a way. What scene was the hardest one? The one that you woke up the next day and you were like, oh my God, I'm it so was, sore. It was, it was definitely fighting the bird, that mechanical bird that I had to fight for about four hours on the set, yeah, it was beating me up pretty bad. It was a mechanical bird, it was actually pecking? Yeah, when I was fighting, yes. Oh, it was coming at me hard, yeah. I think they put too many batteries in it. <laughs> was it controlled by someone? Or? Yes, it was controlled by my uh, hairstylist, Maynard, who's got, or Manfred, <laughs> no, it was, he's got massive glasses and, and lady polo pants. He wears <laughs> ladies polo pants. And does he have like something against you? Was he, it? Mu he must, he must, because I make fun of his voice because he'd be, he's got a very funny accent and we make fun of him and stuff like that, and he, he falls asleep everywhere. And I think he must have fell asleep when he was doing the controls, because the bird kept attacking me in like crazy mode. And I think he was like, I, I just fell asleep. And he was out, that was it. So, yeah. Now, um, Paul is already a hero, but yes. if he could have a superpower, what do you think he would like to have? If he need, he, I don't think he needs a superpower. That's what makes him special. I think it would be, uh, you know, if he had to have a superpower, it would be, um, I guess it would be to be flexi man, because he needs to be more flexible. And he's not that flexible. He throws some kicks in the movie, and they're not very high. Uh, he, he pulls a muscle pretty much every time he does it. And uh, I think, so that would be it. If, if he could have flexible muscle tissue, that, that would be his superpower. Okay, well, now I know this movie doesn't take place at a mall. Right. But we wanted to get to know you a little bit better, so I have a few really quick questions that I want to throw at you, okay. and you can just sure. give me the first thing that comes to mind. Sure. Okay, it's about mall food. Right. So what is your favorite milkshake flavor? Milkshake flavor is a vanilla malted. Malted, which is very important. Oh. Not just a vanilla shake. Right. Regular or curly? I go regular. Curly freaks me out. Hot or iced coffee? I, it, both. It's, it depends on how, how it's made. If that's what it comes down to me. Okay. Uh, pie or sundae for dessert? Both. You never deny either. <laughs> okay. Pizza or burgers? Again. See the last question. Restaurant or food court? Okay. Now we're getting into a, a little conundrum here because we're basically one is this, what is a food court but a breakup of, you know, it's restaurants. It's all different restaurants. So I would say I'm going to go with a food court because you're not confined to one, you know, you go bigger, it's right. being big, right, options. right, options. Yes, uh, your favorite side? Side? Yes. My favorite side, my left side. Oh. Okay, and like salad or? Oh, my favorite side, okay. <laughs> uh, I would say, uh, I always go potato, you gotta go potato. Okay, good. And mustard or mayo? Uh, it depends what I'm having, uh, you know, give me, give me a food, name a food. Uh, burgers. M mayo with, mixed with, uh, with ketchup. And hot dogs? Mustard, brown mustard, always. Good. Now the most important and the last question that sure. I have here for you. Uh, what is Paul Bart's favorite pixie stick flavor? Oh, that's easy. It's a uh, grape. Yes, it is. It is a grape twirl. It's okay. a grape yes, twirl. Yes, yeah. 